We are cataloging everything in the collection. We're writing down all of the measurements, the description, we're taking a photo, and we're all putting it into a database. It will eventually be searchable online. Great, thanks. It's a big project. So this is the most disturbing item in the collection that I've come across. So this doll is exactly what it looks like. It's a little clan doll. It was given uh, to a child living by Lake of the Isles in the 1920s here in Minneapolis. It's an example of unpleasant local history. Uh, the KKK was very active in Minnesota, including Hennepin County. I mean, this little girl probably saw her parents wearing these same garments um, here in Minnesota. It was probably a commercially made doll and then someone hand sewed the clan outfit, complete with eye holes. Uh, when I first discovered it here in the collection, I was I was just opening drawers just to see what we had, and I, I was it was like something came out and bit you. Uh, it is something we only exhibit very carefully. Our role as a museum is to be a place where conversations can happen and where we can be relevant to current events, and uh, these sorts of items are a way to talk about some of these uh, difficult difficult stories. Personally, I think that's what makes museum collections so important to me. That's it's these are the real objects. It's not just reading about it somewhere or hearing about it. It's actually a physical connection to the past, and I think it just makes history alive in uh, more dramatic ways. It really connects you, in both good or bad. Mm -hmm.